Host Buster has been harassing me. He's also a uh, moderator on the Red Bar Reddit, but that's been closed down. Thank you to all those moderators who you understood. It was a little too far. Um, but Host Buster was a moderator on that Reddit. He was sharing, or he was okay with sharing child porn. And when I outed him about this, he refused. And I also said, you know what? Hostbuster's a moderator on that Reddit. Do you know Hostbuster? You're going to meet him. I've showed you him before. But he's also called me. So I'm going to show you his call. This is sick. Imagine calling someone like this as a host. When you're a host, you have to, and this is goes out to Jesse too. When you're a host, you need to be straight as an arrow. You can't be doing sketchiness. Oh, thank you for the water. Here's Hostbuster calling my cell phone that was doxxed. If somebody doxes someone's cell phone, you don't call it unless you want to be as creepy as the doxer. You leave the man alone. Here's Hostbuster calling me. Okay. Uh Uh-oh. Okay. Hopefully we're still recording. Here's Hostbuster calling me. Listen to this message he left on my voicemail. I was scared for weeks. I called the police. I said, there's this guy after me. He's got a very low-end home computer and an old desk. So I am worried. Listen to this. Mike, you fucked up. You know, I tried to keep things civil and friendly. You fucked up. But it looks like uh, you didn't want to play a part of it. And because of that, all I want to do now is destroy you. Destroy you. Okay? We are going to destroy your show. Why? We're going to give out all your secrets. My secrets. And you're going to wish that you had called into my show because guess what? Oh, no. This ain't a game. We're not fucking around. Okay, can you understand what he's saying? Were you fucked up? You won't call into my show. I'm going to kill you. Your show. Well, he didn't say that. Here it is again. Mike, you fucked up. You fucked up? No, I tried to keep things civil and friendly. This is a phone call to my personal phone. uh, You didn't want to play a part of it. (laughs) And because of that, all I want to do now is destroy you. All I want to do now is destroy you. Okay. Imagine sending this. You didn't get my phone number from me. You stole my phone number from a devious man. And then you call it and the voice message picks up and it's not even me on the voicemail. And you go, I'm going to destroy you. You're done. Would you ever say this to anyone? Do you think I'm calling up Chris D'Elia and saying this? Do you think I'm saying this to Santino? I would never, ever. This is what Jesse P.S. and Host Buzzer, this is the kind of guys they are. This is what I mean by behind the scenes, and I'm going to start exposing it now. I usually save this stuff. I go, they don't want to be bothered with this. They're here for a show, not for my little problems. These people... This is how they live their life. I'm going to, I want to go over this one more time. Here. Mike. One more drink. You fucked up. Cheers. Mike, you fucked up. You know, I tried to keep things civil. And- I tried to keep things civil. Remember, this is a guy I don't even know. It's just a crazy guy who started doing videos about me. Listen to this. Hostbuster. Just some crazy autist started making videos about me calling me a pedophile out of nowhere. Me, a pedophile? Um, well, I actually am a pedophile, you fucking idiot! Uh, have you ever heard of Louis J. Gomez's baby? Yum, yum, give me some of that yum, yum, Max! Stupid idiot! Friendly? Sure. But it looks like, uh, you didn't want to play a part of it. And because of that... I tried to be friendly, but it looks like you wouldn't play a part of that. This is some crazy autistic guy who goes, come on my show now. I go, uh, I don't do shows, sorry. Oh, yeah, then you're dead. And then they call me and, dude, if you call someone's voicemail with this, I mean, imagine you're if sick. you were watching Red Bar for months and then you, Chris D'Elia came in his podcast and was like, listen to this voicemail that yeah. Mike sent me. And Mike was secretly making imagine, calls. Imagine if night. you found out I was secretly calling and threatening people. But I think that these guys are so messed up. That's why people always accuse each other of stuff. Is yeah. Because they're doing, they're like, Mike has all these secret accounts and he was the one who leaked Jules News. Never. And he's doing all this stuff behind the scenes. But the reason that they're able to accuse you of that kind they of stuff 
do that. That's what they do. Yes. Jesse Brian Lecter, which is Hostbusters' real name. Sorry, your real name gets out. If you do a show, your real name gets out. That's not doxing. His name is Brian Lecter. He's a likable guy. You're going to call me? If you call me on my doxed phone number, I can say your name. Okay. And then he's going to say this. I was frightened, folks. I hid under what's called the blanket. It's mean. Imagine if someone called you with this. You're just a likable, nice guy doing the Lord's work on YouTube, making videos about Hannibal. And then you get a call like this. It looks like uh, no one call him Hostbuster anymore. You call him Brian with a Y. Lichter, L-E-I-C-H-T-E-R. You want to be a host? You got to do it with your own name. Jimmy Kimmel is Jimmy Kimmel. Lily Singh is Lily Singh. Mike David is Mike David. Drew Michael is Drew Zerman. (laughs) You got to do it with your own name. There are no stage names and no fake names anymore. I've never signed off on that. I never agreed to the doxing protocol. Oh, they want to go by a fake name, of it's course. It's not doxing. Imagine if I went by a fake name and hid myself. What good would my word be? I beg the internet to put pressure on the anonymos. That's what I call them, anonymos. Autismos, anonymos. They're pussies. The biggest bitches on the internet use fake names because they're worried. They're scared. You didn't want to play a part of it. And because of that... Listen to this. All I want to do now is destroy you. All I want to do now... Imagine getting a voicemail. You're a voice message from unknown. What's this about? All I want to do is destroy... What the hell? Imagine getting... Is there anything scarier, by the way? And by the way, a voice call to you is scary. <laughs> I am going to do nothing but destroy... You're sitting here going... Ay, ay, ay. You know, I don't want to be destroyed. And for also, what? he has his own show. <laughs> if he wants to destroy Mike yes. in a jokey way, then go on your show and say, I'm going to destroy Mike. I need to make if this we perfectly clear. This, this show, is not what hosts do. I've never done anything close to this. This is fucked. This is Hostbuster, Brian Leichter. A guy that you thought was funny. He's not funny. He calls me. It's not very odd. It's sick. You know, the people who don't think this is crossing a line are also sick people. Jesse P.S. Mersh. All these people live in a sick fucking world. And I understand that Red Bar might be confused for that world. That sick, there's no line world where you just do anything. We don't. Everything Red Bar does is done live here on the show. Exactly. Or there is none Mike's of this. We don't BBG. do. You know, when Red Bar's off the air, I'm barbecuing. I'm loving people. I'm petting the dog. And? I'm chatting with you guys on the Bring Back Group. I'm not sitting here going to war he with people. He has his own show to prank call Mike on for yeah. laughs if he wants but to he do did it as a this. joke, but he's instead and of doing it on the let show, me tell he you secretly something. does it for his own personal yes. needs. Hostbuster, by the way. That's the difference. This call was from a year ago. So Hostbuster was so stupid, I called him out on this. I go, by the way, Hostbuster, he's one of the moderators on our Reddit. He allows child porn to be posted. <laughs> And he also calls me with threats. Pull up the Hostbuster video. Wait till you see what he said. He forgot that he called me. And he lied to his audience. He said, I've never called Mike. Where's the proof? And then I posted this and he goes, oh, well, I guess I didn't remember that. Really? Imagine if you heard a behind the scenes call where I threatened Chris D'Elia or Santino or Jesse, you'd be disgusted with me. You'd go, ooh, Mike, not really host-like, not really what we want. 
He didn't play this on his show. He did this in private to hurt me. That's sick and scary. Watch this. And because of that, all I want to do now is destroy you. And I'm repeating only because I think you can't hear. All I want to do now is destroy you. Okay. We are going to destroy your show. We are going to destroy your show. Imagine how scared I was. I was shivering. I was crying. I was on thin ice. I'm on thin ice. I'm on thin ice. I'm on thin ice. I was so fucking scared. I'm like, well, this guy. I heard this call and then I went. I have to tell Jules every night we get a threatening call and I go, don't worry, Jules. She goes, what are you listening to? You look awful. (laughs) Uh, People, you can't call me. You can't say this stuff to me. I'm a human being. We're going to give out all your secrets. We're going to give out all your secrets. Uh, no, don't. (laughs) Uh, shut up. No, don't do that. And you're going to wish that you had called into my show because and, guess what? And here's the worst part. And you're going to wish that you had called into my show. The only reason it's doing this because you wanted to interview me. And I said, no, I don't do interviews. Actually, to be honest with you, I'm pretty sure I remember what actually oh, happened. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's see. It, it was that Hostbuster was like, Mike, call in, Mike, call in. And then you went in his chat and you were like, oh, sure, I'll call in. I'm calling in right now. Yeah, I'm calling a lie. In as a joke. A joke, a lie. For like two seconds. Okay. And you logged off and went about your life. And But this fake call in request yeah. really ticked He thought, him off. oh, he thought, this is oh, going to be the interview. Gonna be I'm going to be Howard Stern. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry to bog you down with it. I hope you're entertained. You know, when I talk about this stuff, I just hope it's I know, this is very entertaining inside. for you. It's inside, but I think people like it, right? They like hearing this stuff, right? I hope so. I mean, Here, we press don't... press one in the chat if you love this super inside internet-y yeah. stuff, if well, you Well, it's nice to know. And Listen, two if you hate it. I like to talk about what I like to talk about, but I never want to just talk about stuff that no one's interested in. Uh, so if you hate this kind of stuff, maybe you're turning in, you want to hear about Tom Segura. I don't know. I actually want to know. I'm not, I won't be mad at you for pressing two. I like hearing it. Someone says I'm glued to the screen. People love it. Okay. That's enough. That's enough. Stop. Cause if I see it too, look at this. Everyone loves it. Two, one guy, write his name down. No, it's fair enough. It's fair enough. All right. Listen to the rest. This ain't a game. This ain't a game. We're not fucking around. We're not fucking around. And then it hangs up. That's mean. That's over the line. If you think that I'm doing this to Luis J. Gomez and Dalia and Santino, I would never. I would never message them. I think messaging someone, DMing them, private. Todd Detter has done this. I think that's over the line. You want to talk shit about somebody, do it behind their back. To message someone personally and say I saw a guy last week, he messaged me on Instagram. He's, dude, I got the block from Big Mike. What a pussy. And then he shows me what it was. And this guy messaged Big Mike. And he's like, you piece of shit. You're such a fucking faggot. I can't believe Lana would even date you. You're so fucking up. And I go, "Um, you're a creep. Let it be known. We're not into that. Can That's I, harassing. Can I read a comment from a guy who's sure. missing the point? A guy goes, you prank call all the time. Wow. We just said a million times. If we he went did it on, on the his show. show. If he went on his show and, and called us, then yeah. he'd be like, ha, 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 he got This us. is a secret call to me. This is a secret call. He never told you about it. Yeah, if he did this on his show, it'd be funny. That's a totally different thing. <laughs> he did this alone at night. Just being mad at me. And also, we didn't even Mike. say anything until he lied about it. So let's play the clip where he says this never happened. You heard the call. Here's the video where he says it never happened. I welcome. I told people. So I went in the bring back group. I go, this host posture, he's actually not. Because I was giving props. Same, for those who I don't thought know. he was a sweetie. Here's the thing. We got this guy named Hostbuster, and I thought the name was hilarious. And he made a video about me under the name Hostbuster, and his first video was Mike David. He's a bad guy. He's a and he's kind of like Brody Stevens. Uh oh, I gotta pee again. I got. I'll tell you this. Imagine that I'm gonna pee, so you don't think I'm cowering. Um, 
we thought he was like Brody Stevens, where he's like, I'm a host buster. I'm busting host. I thought that was very funny. But then he started targeting me in a, like a sick way. It's totally different. I was always promoting host buster. Go check out host buster. He's funny. He turned into a person that wasn't funny. He was allowing child porn. He wasn't banning it. He's a moderator on the Reddit. Everyone who posted child porn, he would see that post and go, that's good. That works for me. I'm okay. So I called him out about that. And I said, and meanwhile, he called me in January threatening me. He's a bad guy. Not a funny guy like I promoted. So what I was promoting goes, hey, 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 there's this funny guy host, Buster. He rags on Red Bar. Check him out. That was kind of the vibe I gave. So I felt it was my responsibility to say, wait a minute, Hostbuster's not a good guy. He wants me dead. And he'll do anything he can to take me down. That's different than a guy roasting me. This is an evil guy who wants to hurt the show. He's reporting it. He's doing all this. So I wrote about that on the Bring Back Group. I go, you know what? Enough's enough. He's a moderator on that Reddit. He allows child porn to be posted. And he calls me and says he's going to destroy me. This is the real host buster. Host buster heard me say this and he responds. Oh, this is what I said. This is my uh, comment. Hostbuster is okay with child porn being posted on the Reddit. He also calls me and leaves threatening voicemails. Just so everyone knows, he's not a fun character anymore. He's a bad man. Because some people are like, Hostbuster, he's part of the Red Bar world. He's funny. He's just ragging on Mike. It's all okay. But it's not okay because he's calling and he's doing the child porn. Then, so I post this. And then Hosty does the unthinkable. And we have his video. Is this it, Jules? Yep. Wait, this is it? Sure is. Uh, Hosty makes a video right Welcome away. Welcome back to Hostbusters. I want to address some things Welcome that Mike David to said in his fucking... Fuck. I want to address some things that Mike David said in his fucking dork cave of the internet. Wow. The Bring Back Group, or also known as the Red Bar X... Scars Club, that's right, he collaborates with himself. I'm being a bit of a dick. I'm being a little rude to the great Mike <laughs> David. Why exactly. is that? I'll tell you. Because he wrote this. He said, Hostbuster is okay with child porn being posted on the Reddit. He also calls me and leaves threatening voicemails. Let me get the call. Just so everyone knows. Not a fun character call anymore. Again? He's a bad man. Well, Mike, first of all, your it. fucking writing is shit. There's periods where there should be commas, etc. Who cares? I'm not here to take you to task on that. What I really want to know is uh, what makes you think that I'm pro-child porn? Wow. Because I hate to say it. I hate that I have to say this, but if there is porn... This is the is same guy porn, who literally the first video he made of me... Knowing full well it wasn't true. The first video made to be Mike David is a pedophile. Yeah. The guys who call and we everyone. didn't even do anything other than nothing. go, ha, ha, Hostbuster rocks. We love him. We promote him. Mike David is a pedophile. Most people would be upset with that. And here I am calling him out on pedophilic behavior, and he's appalled. Jesse P.S. Hates Epstein. But does stuff to children. <laughs> you Just see kidding. this, Jesse? Just Jesse kidding. does stuff. We Remember we made up with Jesse. Oh, yeah. Except did Jesse stop talking he, in the chat? He did stop talking, but I think his apology he bitched out. was disingenuous. Of course. Disingenuous. <laughs> did he stop talking, though, in the chat? Yeah, he's gone. You're out of here, Jesse. No, we made friends with him. We made friends with you, we but you lost after forgiven. the friendship, too. So here's your host, Buster. Watch this. I hate that I have to say this, but if there is porn, if there is child porn anywhere on the Red Bar subreddit, the host video with uh, Just fucking go to report account. it. What? Are you a psychopath? Just, just account. Of course I'm not pro that. Get rid of it. So that's a lie, number one. 
He calls me and leaves me threatening voicemails. Mike, play the tape. Play the evidence. Okay. Give me some evidence that I'm not only saying that I'm pro-child porn. Okay. Which I'm not. And also that I'm leaving these threatening voicemails. Which... Play the evidence, Mike. Play the tape. Here you go. Mike, you fucked up. You know, I tried to keep things civil and friendly, but it looks like uh, you didn't want to play a part of it. And because of that, all I want to do now is destroy you. So when you lie about the voicemail, are you lying about the child porn? You said you never called me. You said you'd never be pro-child porn, which I didn't say you were. So I'm going to go ahead and say you are pro-child porn. Yikes. <laughs> so you're an actual pedo. It all makes sense. I'm not. Give us the evidence, Mike, because I don't believe it. And nobody should. Wow. But more importantly. Aren't I good at this? Here's another guy that you never have to believe again. <laughs> I just showed you. And then you know what he said? What was his rebuttal? That, oh, yeah, I forgot about that call. Oh, did you forget about the child porn part too? What parts don't you forget about, Joe? More importantly, you said I'm not a fun character anymore. I got to tell you. Now that's fun. It's not true. It's not true. I'm fun. I want I'm you fun. to be you fun. Stick around. I'm fun. I want these people to be fun. They don't play fair. Here's the thing, and I finally started calling these people out. You gotta play fair. There's even a fair, like me versus Santino, it's fair. Me versus all these people, it's fair. You must, you owe it to everyone watching to play fair. Hate is great, I love hate. Like if Santino came on his podcast and completely owned us, we'd have to just take it because everything that we do is out here you know what i mean yeah everyone needs to play fair you can't lie okay once you, you lie was... you have lied forever it, you know this is why we went after anthony kumia he committed the lie gavin did the lie and joe rogan is now doing the lie we don't care Listen. Should we show Joe Rogan doing the yeah, lie? Yeah, we got to show Joe Rogan doing the lie. After my show. bathroom break. Okay. And we're still here. What is this? Six hours and 32 minutes? Has Jesse ever given you six hours? Has Hostbuster ever given you six hours? These are wannabe me's. <laughs> These are I'm wanna mics, missing, guys. I'm missing the episode of The Bachelor Greatest Seasons Ever for you guys. Anything we say on the show is at least our truth. We're being serious. We're not making up things out of thin air. These people will lie. Jesse, Hostbuster. We have to stop saying Jesse because he said he was sorry, which I'm sure was he sarcastic. Didn't. He did say it many times. But let's take his sorry oh, at, really? at face value. If until, Jess, okay. So yeah, we're you're right. Now. I didn't know that. He I thought said, he was still going off every minute. He's he right here. Sorry, but yours he are better. He's right here, Jules. You're wrong. He's right here, still combating. But yours are better, Mike. He's chatting every second. I've done 17 in 24 hours. Look at this. You're wrong about I Jesse. I mean, he just said that's all right. I missed Okay, it. well, he's right <laughs> here. I've done 17 and 21. He was saying he was sorry. And you I see was what say, I mean about this Jesse? Like Everything I, you say about him, he's got an excuse. Every little thing. I'll turn him to a little pile of nothing. I will. I can do it, Jesse. I can do it. I have the powers. I have the ability. I can do it. Do you want to be a pile of nothing or do you want to be something? It's up to you. I got to take a pee.